A federal high court sitting in Abiokuta, the capital of Ogun State, has nullified the candidature of the African Democratic Congress governorship candidate in the 2023 election, B. Otebeye, as well as the party's state assembly candidates, saying that a primary election which produced Otebeye and the state assembly candidates did not comply with the provision of the Electoral Act. It should record that the Labour Party in the state had approached the court asking the court to compel the Independent National Electoral Commission not to recognize the governorship candidates and others. The court presided over by Justice Akintayo Aluko affirmed that the primary election which produced Otebeye and others did not comply with the Electoral Act. While the counsel to the Labour Party commended the judgment, the counsel to the ADC candidate said they may be compelled to appeal the judgment after access to the court's judgment. Uh, well, the court has given judgment and it's no wisdom and uh, it has found in favor of the plaintiff. As you know, uh, this is a contest. One way or the other, it has to go, you know, the way it goes. But that's not the end of the case. We have applied and we have indicated to the court that uh, we are very, very uh, interested in having access to the judgment as quick as possible with a view to sit down and, you know, analyze the judgment with the view of, uh, you know, taking further step in respect of the judgment. What are those steps you want to take? Further yeah. step you want to take? Actually, you know, here in Nigeria, and uh, constitutionally, every Nigeria and every party before the court whose uh, judgment has been uh, uh, given against has the right, constitutional right, you know, to approach the higher court and to ventilate uh, its grievances. There are some areas which we feel we disagree with the, uh, the judgment of his lordship that we intend to exploit before the Court of Appeal. What was that pronouncement that you are contesting? No, there, are, there, are, there are so many of them. There are so many of them that we feel that, uh, you know, uh, they are, with respect to the landed trial judge, uh, the, uh, the, the, the position do not uh, accord with the position of the law. That is what we intend to explore. In terms of fair hearing? Uh, not only fair hearing, we have locals and other ideas. So some things I don't wish to discuss, you know, you know uh, publicly now until we get a copy of the judgment, study it, analyze it, and take further step. And by the time we do that, you'll be you know, promptly informed. You didn't make it, sir. 25. First and foremost, we came to court to ch challenge the decision of INEC recognizing the name of the governorship candidate of ADC among other names of candidates that emerged or that was a, a published in their final list that was published on the 4th of November, sorry, October this, uh, this year. So we came to court to say, well, these people, they didn't conduct any valid primary. From the information available to us, they conducted a primary, they purported primary on the 4th, on the 12th, and the notice they gave to INEC was on the 15th of the same month, which made three days after they have purportedly conducted their primary. And we said it cannot be valid in the eye of the law in the view of Section 84 and 87 of the Electoral Act, which mandate that every primary must be monitored by INEC. And so, we ran to court to challenge the decision of INEC. And of course, they raised preliminary objection to say, well, we are not members of the party. We are not an aspirant in the party. That therefore, we could not have complained about what transpired. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.